Okay. So we'll make the cameras more manageable. Okay, so I had some fun with that camera yesterday, and I decided to add to, to it a little bit. There's a thread that I've been following on Unreal Engine forums for a while now to do with mixed reality, and um, someone had an interesting shader in it that took the camera vector of any rendering camera and took the vector of, I mean, the um, location of the HMD and auto-generated a near and far plane for it. And I like that shader. Yeah, I think it might be able to have some improvements, but at least initially it works really well. So I gave the camera a new option on it, a new Boolean. So I got the standard camera here, which just acts like normal. You turn it on and you got a normal camera you can carry around and use. And it switches over into um, camera mirror mode. But then I've got the second camera which activates a um, mixed reality mode where it renders the normal view from the camera. Then it renders one where there's a foreground where you can set how far away the clip plane is for it. And then it generates a green screen in the background from you um, in the from the headset to the camera's vector. And then it does a normal eye output on the bottom left. So when I turn this one on, let me make this camera a little bigger so I can see what's going on. There we go. All right, so when I turn that one on, you've got the main image, you've got the green screen foreground image, which I'll put my hands back behind this, you know, it goes out. It's no longer in the foreground. It would just treat it as the background, so anything included in it would still include it. And um, then it renders the headset image down at the bottom left. And since this is working off that guy's shader, it moves around with the headset. I said, I think it could use a few improvements, but it works pretty well for the most part. So if you were to composite a player's, let me pull this out. Yeah. All right. So if you were to composite a player's, um, like a web camera or something, or a video camera that you attach to a Vive Tracker or a controller or an Oculus Touch controller, and then you were to take the lens offset for that camera and move the scene capture component 2Ds on this to the same uh, offset and from the tracker, then you could do mixed reality fairly easily. I mean, like really easily. You just have to watch out because I believe there's a frame of lag and this would be better done in C++ by mocked it up in Blueprint because it was really quick to do. Um, you'd also want to get the FOV of the lens to be the same and you know stuff like that. But hey, it works and it's cool and it's fun. I might put more effort into it. I don't know. Um, this was just a quick experiment, and I'll leave it as an example with the rest of the camera. So have a good day.